The Peak of English, Mastering Irregular Superlative Adjectives. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to tackle a fascinating aspect of English grammar, irregular superlative adjectives. Get ready, because this is your chance to elevate your English skills and reach new heights. Just as a quick reminder, superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. For instance, the tallest, the smallest, or the fastest. But wait, there's more. Some adjectives don't follow the regular rules. They are our main stars today, the irregular superlative adjectives. These are words that don't fit the usual pattern of adding est or using most before the adjective. Let's dive into some examples now. One of the most common irregular adjectives is good. The superlative form of good is not goodest nor most good, but best. Another irregular adjective is bad. We don't say baddest nor most bad, but worst. And let's not forget far. Instead of farest or most far, we say farthest or furthest. Now that you've got the hang of it, let's practice together. The key to mastering these is repetition and usage, so let's go. 1. She is the best singer in our class. Good. 2. Of all his ideas, this was the worst. Bad. 3. He lives the farthest away from school. Far. Remember, practice makes perfect, or should we say, practice makes best. And there we go, folks. A quick and easy guide to irregular superlative adjectives. Hopefully, now, you're a bit more comfortable and confident in using them in your everyday English. Remember, the best way to improve is to keep practicing and using these in your daily conversations. Thanks for joining us in this English language learning journey. Stay tuned for more, and always keep reaching for the best in your language learning quest.